Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my channel. We're discussing Mandela Effects and if you like, thank you for joining in tonight. Welcome all Mandela Effects. Hey guys, um, I'm reading through Matthew 22 and um, let me let me just read these set of verses here to you guys. Okay, this is another parable from Matthew 22, um, verse 1. And Jesus answered and spake unto them by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell me which are bidden. Behold, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come to the come unto the marriage. Verse 5 says, um, but, but they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and in and treated them spitefully and slew them. But then, uh, excuse me, but when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Then saith he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. I'm going to talk about highways here in just a second, okay? Okay. Um, that's a change in the scripture. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he saith unto them, Friend, how camest thou in hither, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to, his, to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him, out, cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Jesus says, For many are called, but few are chosen. So, what do you guys think about that story? Well, here, here's here's the Mandela effect that that I see a change. Romans didn't did Romans have highways? No, um, they they actually had roads. Um, Romans had roads, and they were made of cobblestone as early as 300 BC. They did that to expand their empire into Constantinople and further out. But um, I can prove to you that it wasn't um, roads. I mean, it was it was roads. So if we look here, verse uh, 22, verse 9, Go ye therefore into the highways, as many as ye shall find uh, bid to the marriage. So it says here, Ye be... Ye be going. Then on the throughway, the exits, the the throughways of the roads. Okay, the roads. There it is. And as many as ever ye may be finding, call ye in into the marriages. So they're referring to roads here. Do you see anything that says highways? No, I mean it, it's talking about. They've added this word, I believe. This might be an add-on, but it was roads. Um, the yeah. So the word in Greek here is hodon. Let me let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, hodon. So let's look that up. Hold on for one second here. Hold, hodon. Okay, the word hodon means road, and there's 101 occurrences of it. Okay, and let's see, way, way, yeah, I just, I just don't see it being highway, because it, it had to be um, road. Yeah, I just don't, I don't see, the, the highway has to be an insert, no. 
They, the Romans did not have highways, guys. This has to be a, um, a huge Mandel effect here. The wayside. Yeah, it was roads. But anyway, thanks for checking me out. Um, have a great Mandela effect night and God bless you all.